Fortune and welcome again to my small channel. For those who are new in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell in order for you to get an update about how is life here in Germany. And so there are four seasons here in Germany. In summer, I can wear just sandals, short and sandals going to work. In winter, bonnet to cover my ears, scarf, heat tech leggings and uh, long sleeves and then denim jeans denim jeans and then sweater and then uh, winter jacket and winter boots autumns and spring i can wear ordinary jackets like leather jackets coat um denim uh, sweater and boots or rubber shoes so you are not allowed to wear your uh, hospital uniform outside the hospital they will also have a specific shoes example they should be closed and washable and these shoes should not also be worn outside the hospital uh, about our uniform it's scrubs it's color blue of course for the over arts uh, they wear white and for the chef arts they wear polo white otherwise we all have the same uniform uh, from the doctors including to the down to the janitress only one uniform for all the workers in the ICU then you will just have the name tag here about your position your name and your position for example me lady fortune and then swesta so about the general appearance um, it's the same like the philippines when your hair is uh, up on the shoulder level it should be tied up no nail polish the only difference is that tattoos are allowed and you can do whatever you want with your uniform. You can roll it up the sleeves, uh, the pants you can roll also up. You can tuck in the uh, upper scrub and they are not so strict about birds. So may makikita kayo mga doctor or nurses na lalaki ang hahaba ng mga, ng mga balbas. <laughs> so the ETS team is composed of the following. Take note guys, as here in Deutschland, you can just say the first name of the doctor. You don't have to address them uh, doctor and then the last name or the first name. Here you can just say the first name of the doctor except of course for the over arts and chef arts. For the over arts and chef arts, you can just say over arts or chef arts or hair or frau and then the last name. Also, with our nursing team, you can just say the first name of your head or your senior. There's no seniority also here. There's no mom or sir. You can just tell their first name. Even though they are too much older than you are, you can just tell their first name. And of course, there's exemption to this. The chief nurse overall chief nurse you also have to address them hair or frau and their last name so you respect that at a.m shift there are three doctors in the station p.m shift and night shift only one doctor you don't have also to worry about the referrals because that's the job of the station doctor about the nursing education in order for you to be a nurse here in germany after finishing senior high school you have to do the three-year ausbildung ausbildung or apprenticeship so here um in order for you to be a recognized nurse you should also pass the written exam the oral exam or a practical exam and practical exam if you want to be an ICU nurse, these are the things that you need to uh, consider or you need to learn. And these are the tasks. That you need. Uh, one of the nursing tasks also is to be a charged nurse four to five times in a month. And take note that no english when talking to the patients to the doctors to your co-workers co it's all deutsch and one of the nursing tasks also is to answer the phone 
uh, when the relative is calling. Patient ratio uh, that depends on the shift. AM shift is 2.5. Uh, 1 is to 2.5 that means that you can have 2 and then admit 1 at the middle of the shift and then is page shift or PM shift is um, 2, 3 maximum of 3 and then night shift is maximum of 4 so in intensive we provide everything from shampoos until socks <laughs> Ang sarap magtrabaho kasi unlimited yung resources. Hindi mo nahihintayin yung, yung, hindi mo nahihintayin yung relatives na bibili ng ganito. Nandyan na. Nandyan na. Kukunin mo na lang. At stock room and medication room. Uh, medication we order, we check it thrice a day. And for the stock room, it's the job of the Fliege Helferin or Assistant Dealers. We don't have a pharmacist. Medtech don't go in our area to extract blood. We are the one extracting blood and then sending them to laboratory through bombs. They call it bombs or bomba. In the Philippines, we do administer blood to the patients, but here in Deutschland, no, it's a doctor's job. It's the patient to another station, like normal station. Uh, in that case, we don't need a doctor. But every time we transport the patient going to CT scan or MRI, doctor is always with the patient and at least one nurse. Vacation leaves. Vacation leaves is 30 days plus 6 additional days. If you work AM, PM, and night shift, this is called uh, shish or love. So overall, 36 days excluding saturday and sunday so you have overall five weeks and six days illness and sick pay for six weeks that you are uh, sick the your employer will pay the 100 percent of your salary after that the health insurance will pay it for just 70 percent and that is just around 78 weeks already mentioned it in my other videos um the question is if we have the same salaries and benefits with the german yes we have the same salary i think so because i have a colleague a german colleague i asked uh, what's his salary and he mentioned to me the exact amount which is what i'm getting at that time so don't have any tips in the ICU because your patients are sometimes not awake. But in normal station, you can have 5 until 20 euro. And that depends if it's every day or it's every week. But please uh, be cautious about this because it's not allowed to take any money from the patient. So our schedule, your supervisor will ask you if you want a long work and long off. So for me, I uh, chose the long work and long off. So sometimes I have five days to six days off straight in a month. Normally, it shouldn't be greater than 10 days straight and five days, um, five days, more than five days night shift. Uh, during night shift, uh, if you don't have something to do, it's okay to at least nap but in the ICU it's possible to nap for greater than one hour because there's always alarm you have 30 minutes break and if you did your job already and you don't have anything to do getting mag early out so ang gagawin pag early out is um mababawasan ka ng oras Tapos, mag-duty ka ng mas marami sa normal para mabayaran mo yung oras na yun. Example, umalis ka ng uh, 12 o'clock, matatapos dapat yung duty mo ng 2.30, so may utang ka na 2 hours and 30 minutes. At kung magkumpul-kumpul yun, so magiging isang duty, uh, pwede, ka rin, uh, pwede mo yung bayaran uh, 
in the next ones thank you again for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, my next video will be uh, getting mini job in germany as a nurse thank you